Hey all you 3D printing enthusiasts, it's Fergie again with another video. Um, I did get my MakerBox sample the other day and I was going through and I had the regular PLA stuff which is nice. I got something which is uh, black amethyst and PLA, a little sparkly. There is some recyclable PLA which is kind of cool. There's a brick texture PLA, which is kind of nice. But the thing that caught my eye, I had some LW PLA, natural. This is some color fab. It prints in a pretty broad spectrum. We're talking 195 to 260C. Bed temperature is about 60, which is standard. Speed is standard. Cooling, yes. Here's the thing I liked about it. It said as you change the temperature, you change the flow and density of the print. It says the this is the first filament using an active foaming technology to achieve a lightweight, low-density PLA part. So it says when you print anywhere from 195 to about 225, it's PLA, which is nice. The minute you start getting to 230, 240, 250 all the way up to 260, the material starts to foam, increasing the volume by nearly three times. It says users can decrease the material flow by 60% to achieve, to achieve lightweight parts using the same expanding properties to efficiently reduce the print time by using bigger layers. So what I got from this is as you increase the temperature of the PLA, it will start to expand by up to three times the width, which is 0.4. So it'll go from 0.4 to 0.1.2. As you go, starting at 230, scaling up to 260. So let's take a look at this. Now, I started with this, which is uh, just a cap of a PS4. I'm using this because it's very fast. And it does have some bridging on the bottom. So this is my PLA sample. Uh, the top is nice. The bottom where it bridged, stop that. It's a little rough. You can hear that. So this is my first attempt at um, 215. Right? So this is pretty standard. I used to go 210, 215, somewhere in there with a bed of 60. And it didn't adhere very well at all. And you can see on the bottom, the bridging and everything, pretty messed up. Now, I probably could have gone with a little bit more glue to make this stick. But all in all, it wasn't great. Now, my next one was at 2.30. So, this was at 2.30. These guys right here. This is where it should have been expanding. The quality is about PLA quality. About just as heavy, nothing like weight about it. But the difference is underneath, it seems that it um, expanded a little bit. So where it's bridging now is almost completely smooth, unlike this one, which is pretty rough. So it seems like it expanded in between the layers, just making the indentation for each layer a little bit less. So then I went up to 240. At 240, you saw that started straining quite a bit. This is how far they are apart on the print bed, and it started straining like oh, like crazy. Right? I didn't remove it because I wanted you to see it. Underneath, it was stringing underneath the piece as well. Now I could have adjusted this with a slicer setting, but I wanted you to see what happened if you just use a standard. PLA setting with standard retraction on a Prusa Mark III, what would happen? And then the string was even worse at 260, top and bottom. So if you're going to go with the lighter prints at 260 so it foams out, you're definitely going to have to um, change a lot of settings on your, your printer profile. Now let's take a look at a regular print because that's kind of just small prints. I went ahead and did a dyno. This is a low par, uh, poly dyno from the 3D printing professor. I like his prints a lot. 
and this is really one of my favorites right here. A lot of detail, a lot of planes, up in the teeth. Uh, all that looks great. And this is the expanding version. Now, the expanding version on all the flat planes did great. As you can see, a little bit of stringing down here, which I can easily remove. But here's the kind of cool thing. Because of the amount of plastic being used now, there's a significant difference in weight. This is much lighter. I'd say, got like half to a third the weight of this. And you can actually hear the difference in the density of the part. So listen to this. So this, pretty hard. This, a lot less so. Hear how that almost sounds like it's hollow? And this sounds like it's more solid. So as you do bigger projects, you're going to notice the difference in the weight between this dyno and this one. Significantly different. The detail, pretty much the same. I lost a bit because it's foaming in here. I lost a little bit in here. Uh, but everything else seems to be identical. So this is... LW PLA Natural. Um, if you've got a Maker Box, play with it. I know I did, and I had a lot of fun with it. And it seems like it lives up to its uh, billing, so it was kind of cool. Hope you enjoyed this version of Average Show 3D, and you guys enjoy your day.